So this is the wheel slip table. I use this, I put this in the PWM outputs in Holly EFI in the tunes I build. It's just a calculated wheel slip, front versus rear. As drive shaft RPM increases, if front wheel speed does not, you'll start to get wheel slip and it'll show in the tables. I cover the why and the how and all, the, and all of that in the wheel slip traction control video. What I want to show in this video is just how this table works. So right now we'll see that front and rear wheel speed are the same and it's based on my rev limit RPM. We're just assuming that this is going to be a racing application where you're always in one-to-one -one or lower gear, you're never in overdrive. That just means the rev limit RPM is also your maximum drive shaft RPM. We're assuming the drive shaft's never going to go faster than the engine. As I adjust that, my X and Y axis adjust as well, and it keeps us in the center of the slip table. If you're using drive shaft and front wheel speed, now you have a difference between the two just inherently because you have the rear gear ratio. So you need to compensate for that. So we'll say we have a 410 rear gear, and now we know that the drive shaft's gonna be going 4.1 times faster than the front rear, the front wheel. Our math takes care of that. That's 4.1 times slower. And then also, if there's any difference in tire diameters, we need to account for that as well. We can change and make this front 26, and the math will update for that as well. So what you can do is use this table, punch in your numbers, and get something close and then you can go drive it down the road, or if you're feeling spunky, you can go make a drag strip pass and look at your wheel slip percent and make sure that it's staying right in the center of that table, right through this middle here. If it's not, you can come in and tweak the Y axis to push it whichever way you need to, but it should be off by some small ratio uh, that's consistent through the whole table. The second tab on this spreadsheet, which I just clicked over to, uh, down here you can see the two tabs where you can select between them. On the second tab, I actually took the rev limit math for the rev limit tip offset table. And what this does is it assumes you're using the soft rev limit type, as I've discussed in the wheel speed slip traction control video. And what you're doing is you enter your low and your high, and it will automatically fill this x axis or the y axis for you of the table, as well as your offsets. So you just go 8400, 9200, and you can see it automatically fills to the low and then does the math so that you can put these in your table. And what you'll do is you'll put the low value here in the table when you want it to start rev limiting, and you'll put this value in the table where you want it to have the maximum rev limit. And then what you'll do is you'll just highlight between the two, click, and hit fill row values in the software, in the Holly EFI software specifically. And that's how you use these, like I said. I'm going to go ahead and put the links to the wheel speed trash control video in the description along with a link to this spreadsheet on Google Docs. The document will be protected, meaning you'll have to copy or download it or whatever before you'll be allowed to edit it and play with it just so that my copy doesn't get destroyed. Anyway, enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions and if there's any errors in this, by all means let me know, but please be kind.